Hi, Bill McNicholas, 44-year resident of Marinwood, live on Unionstone Drive. This is um, part of the committee for uh, Marinwood Plaza cleanup. My experience has been I spent five years on the Hamilton Cleanup Oversight Committee, so it gave me a good understanding of toxicity and what's needed in cleaning up the sites and how it goes about it. I'm also a degreed engineer. Right here we do have a toxic problem that's occurred uh, with Prosperity Cleaners. You can see the sign which then uh, Prosperity moved out and became Marinwood Cleaners. Now, underneath the site and behind it we have toxic waste, PCE, from the uh, cleaner solvents that were dumped there or spilt there during the years that the cleaners go, have been in service. Uh, which may go back to when the cleaners started, I would assume they followed the same procedures, which would be about 1965-66 when the plaza opened. This is a very serious problem to me and I feel that we need to do action, but let me get back a little history on it. When they discovered this back in 2007, they went in and started doing testing, they found they had a hot spots, they started adding uh, high energy or bio-oxidation substances into the ground. In August of 2011, they stopped doing it, feeling that that was sufficient for uh, this taking care of it, and they felt up until less than two years ago that the, all the contamination was contained here at the site behind me. Uh, then Geologica, which is the geology company working for Marinwood Plaza LLC and under the direction of the Regional Water Quality Control District, did testing on the east side of the northbound off-ramp to Marinwood. They found that the PCE plume, in other words, the movement of the material with the groundwater has transferred under the freeway and to the other side. In the last eight months, with additional testing, we found that the plume had moved onto the Sil Silvera Ranch approximately, as what we know to date, a third of a mile from the site of the cleaners. And last month, we found that the well, one of the wells on the ranch has picked up traces of PCE, which is not good. And it had moved under Meller Creek. We don't know, since there's no water in Meller Creek right now, we can't tell what effect it may or may not have in the future. Also though, to talk about what would affect the people in Casa Marinwood, is we have a hot spot of solar vapor of PCE. I'll give you the number is 680,000 micrograms per cubic meter. In perspective, acceptable levels of PCE soil vapor is 212 micrograms per cubic meter. We have done uh, testing here and sampling to the east side of, Miller, of uh, Marinwood Avenue, which is right over here and have found that we've had readings as high as 580 micrograms per cubic meter, which is roughly three times the accepted residential level. Additional sampling is going to be done on the west side of Marinwood Drive or Avenue next week on August 25th. Hopefully we'll find out whether it may help us, I won't say finalize, whether the plume of soil vapor has moved into Casa Marinwood, which is a concern of many of the residents since, as I understand, you have a cluster of six cancer cases in an array of eight homes on the site. All the cancer has developed since they moved into uh, Casa Marinwood. And what we're working now is to try to get and force them to do enough testing to make a determination. Okay, we're out back of Prosperity Cleaners. And as I mentioned, there is a hot spot underneath, and there is one out in back where they used to dump solvents, which is right over here in this mess of weeds. And if we go around, we have, they have installed monitoring wells. One over here, one over here. I believe there's five of them around the area if we go around, but it won't be necessary. 
But to give you an idea of what the plume does and where it's going, if you look straight out at the triangle where you have the car on-ramp and the bus on-ramp, and where it meets, you have a hot spot of, I believe, between 80 and 90 micrograms per cubic liter, which is significantly above the five micrograms per cubic liter of what is considered safe for drinking water. So it is about 17 to 18 times above where it should be that is acceptable. Here we are on the other side of the highway on uh, Silvera Ranch. Across to my left, you can see on the other side of the highway is uh, Marinwood Plaza. And the hot spot over there is at Under Prosperity Cleaners. Less than two years ago, under orders from the Regional Water Quality Control District, uh, they decided to order Marinwood Plaza LLC to do testing and sampling on this side of the off-ramp northbound off-ramp, which the sites are right beyond that clump of bushes, trees, whatever, and they found positive readings of the PCE plume having transferred or progressed underneath the freeway and into this property. With last eight months, with the assistance of the committee being at the meetings for the Regional Water Quality Control Board, we were able to get them to order additional sampling onto Silvera Ranch, which goes about a quarter of a mile into the ranch. And we have found readings on the ranch of up to 35 micrograms per cubic liter. In other words, seven times the acceptable level for drinking water. We have on here to the left, the trees indicate Miller Creek, which runs down through the section of trees over there. And beyond that is the well, which as of the end of last month, when they did water testing, they found indications of PCE into the well water, which means that the plume is still moving and has progressed under the creek and over to the other side. Additional testing for PCE and where the plume is will be done starting August 26th. If you happen to see a big funny looking truck out here, somewhere on the ranch, way out there beyond the fence post and that, and maybe on the other side of the creek, you'll know what it's doing. They'll be out there sampling. Results for that should be out probably the end of September, early October, and I will make sure that they get posted up on next door so that you have an understanding of what they're all about. The residents of Casa Marinwood has a petition demanding action now. We have the committee which is going before the Water Resources Board and asking that they do action now and start remediation. Benefits of the remediation now is one, it starts reducing all the dangers and problems. Two, it allows the Marinwood Plaza LLC to sell the property easier and reduce the cost to clean up in the future. We need your support. You're welcome to join us for the uh, board meeting in Oakland on September 9th at 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, it'll be posted on Nextdoor. And you're also welcome. We're presenting to the Marinwood Community Service District Board on the evening of the 8th of September. So we look forward to your support and to signing the petition.